see here. We're out here at the Avon Park Field. The sun's in my eyes, but it's finally, uh, it's about seven o'clock at night. The uh, sun's starting to go down a little bit and it's actually got a nice cool westerly wind. So it feels great. So we're gonna take, it's evolution time. Darwin, aren't you happy? We're gonna take up the evolution, turbo timber evolution. And right, left, up, down, right and left. And I, safe that's mode. safe mode, AS3X, AS3X mode. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Motor on, into the wind. I've just flown this plane the other day, literally like two days ago, using the same kind of battery, so I'm not worried about a range test right now. And I will tell you this, that this plane here is quickly becoming my favorite plane. Even over Draco, and that's saying something. This plane flies, flies amazing. Now I've got it set up by way of the manual, that, the printed manual that came with it. And I know the digital manual has a slightly different CG setting and different flap settings. But for me, the plane's holding still. For me, those settings are great. I'm literally, I am literally, now I'm flying backwards. I'm going backwards. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That is one of the things that this plane, Draco, uh, a lot of the Cubs, they shine at. You put them into the wind, put them flaps down, and you can literally hold still. Now let's see if we can do that at a lower altitude where you can really see that. Of course, the wind is not as strong lower down. That's something else people don't take into consideration is, uh, keep her into the wind, is um, that the higher up you go, the stronger the wind is. So regardless of how the wind is wherever you're standing, it's a lot, it's exponentially stronger the higher up you go. So... touch and go there up. what an amazing plane absolutely amazing so much fun to fly No flaps this time. Sorry, I'm not trying to blind y'all. Landing is more about your throttle than your elevator or your flaps even. Your throttle is actually what lands the plane. And uh, controlling that speed, controlling your descent, man, that wind. Turn it over which way. Let's try to get in the grass now. All right. Full speed. Time remaining, three minutes. That was a full speed pass there. Now you don't want to keep your plane 
firewalled all the time like that. Hard on the ESC. The more times you do it, the you're taking life off your ESC. At least that's just my opinion. This is one of those planes where your wind, the wind is your friend. You really, it'll, you don't have to use your flaps so much to land. Ah, that wasn't good. That was a bounce and go. I, I let my plane touch too early and therefore uh, had too much of a bounce, too much kinetic energy straight down. So let's try that again and try to keep her, let her run along the runway a little more level. Well, whenever you're trying to show something, that's when you can't do it. And then when you're not, you're not really thinking about it. That's when you do it. <laughs> kind of like when you're, you know, your car has got something going wrong with it. It makes a certain noise or a certain movement. You can do it all the time. But then as soon as you take it to the mechanic, it won't repeat it. <laughs> now see, that was perfect. That's what I was looking for. I need to try this plane out on my 2800 4S's, smaller, lighter packs, and I think this plane would be even faster then. Not that I'm looking for blazing speed, I'm not. There's she'll knife edge for you. Like I said before, butterfly with sore feet. Now, this plane may resemble um, real life planes and, and real scale, full scale planes, but this actual, this plane actually does not exist in full scale. The, the timbers were designed The timbers were designed to be RC planes, they, and they're designed after a lot of the. Uh, now, I probably I would say probably the thing they do, they most closely resemble would be the uh, turbo, the Havilland Beaver, the turbo Beaver. Maybe it's closer closer to that. The nose shape and the big old exhaust, you know, but. The, the timbers were designed just to be RC planes only. Man, well, I can't get a good landing today, can I? Can't get a good landing on the pavement today. Doing it all day long on the grass. expired on a six and a half minute battery so we're gonna be over that's for sure <laughs> now that was wonderful okay motor off, motor off is what you want to hear I'm 11 seconds over on a six and a half. So what's that? Six minutes and 41 seconds. Let's see where that leaves us. Motor's off. 
take my little piece of tape tab that I highly recommend you put on because those magnets are strong the, the magnet is strong with these ones a very poor Star Wars joke there all right get that out of there all right I've got that the 3200 all the way forward is where I had it 39% couldn't be more perfect six minutes really you can go seven minutes and probably come back at 25% but six and a half minutes is perfect brought me back at 39% left on that 3200 so that's good 3200 smart pack all right well there you go folks that is the turbo timber evolution by eFlight absolute amazing bird i i just i can't say enough good things about it i absolutely love this bird thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and god bless y'all